On behalf of uh, Heritage Center, uh, let me welcome Professor Velaswamy for this program, Oral History. And uh, welcome, Professor. Thank Velaswamy, you, Professor Krishnamurthy. Uh, uh, you, you joined this institute. You are one of the senior most professors of this institute. Uh, when you joined this institute, where was this institute located? Was it in this present campus or it was in a different campus? The campus on record belonged to the institution, but it was not possible at that time to do any office or classes, anything. So it started in the CLRI building adjacent. Our director's office, register's office, the entire administrative offices were all in CLRI auditorium. Mm -hmm. And the stage was given to the faculty as a faculty room. That's how it was started. And the inauguration, if I remember, I understand that the inauguration stone was 31st July of 1959. But I was in the campus on 17th, when the inauguration took place on 17th August 1959. Maybe that was again a formal inauguration, I do not know. That was done by Professor L.S. Chandrakant, who was a special officer to Government of India, very specifically for IIT Madras, who happened to be the elder brother of L.S. Srinath, who happened to be the director later. Right, sir. Uh, you are, uh, do you remember the uh, interview in which you were selected? Because you, you were working elsewhere yeah. before coming here. Right. If I memory goes right, right you were right, in right. the state government yeah. at that time. Okay. Uh, I'll, can I'll, you tell how you uh, now okay. came up? Okay. Yeah. Immediately after my BE, in those days, uh, before even you get the degree, the offer of appointment was available. Mm. But B you did in PhD College of Technology. PhD College of Technology right, because in those days uh, I belonged to Salem district, old Salem district. Right. I was put in Kakinada. Mm -hmm. My parents were not willing to send me to Kakinada so I joined PhD College of Technology. That was the first college in the country as a private college. Right. Almost it started in 59. It uh, started in 51. 51, okay. It's right. uh, actually first batch entered in 51. They graduated in the year 1955. Right, sir. I belong to the second batch. Mm -hmm. Entered into 52, then graduated in the year 1956. Earlier, I was a student in Lila College and Intermediate. Lyla, Intermediate. Lila College of uh, Lila College Ch Chennai. 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 Right, okay. Right. Nungambakam. There, it was only intermediate in those days. There wasn't anything like PUC or plus two or any such thing. That was the system continued ever since the British started that way. Somehow still I feel that system is far better, uh, is that my opinion, because if you want me to things, give opinion things also, change, that. Yeah. right. Anyway, after that, uh, I joined PhD College of Technology, graduated in the year 1956. Then when we were writing the final exam, the offer of appointment with the government PWD came, because I was a mechanical engineering, I, I just did the uh, work in mechanical engineering discipline. So there wasn't any department for mechanical engineering in those days. Civil engineering and electrical engineering had their own departments for work. There are only three branches available at that time. Civil, mechanical, electrical engineering. So mechanical engineers didn't have any department from the government for them to have the employment. So PWD or electrical department, depending upon their necessities, they absorbed them. Mm -hmm. So I was given a job in civil engineering uh, background in PWD. I was posted in public health area. I was uh, posted in Sivakasi in Ramna district uh, where the flood came like what we found in Kany Kanyakumari now. It was a very, very bad flood which uh, made a lot of damages. Even the actor and actresses like Gemini Ganesh and Savitri were not known whether they were alive or not even in Rameswaram. There was a Is bad it the condition. Or, uh, something to do with the Ariel right. train accident right. around that time? Right. right. So, 55. Mm -hmm. 55. So, 56 is my graduation. So, I was posted. Earlier, there were some people in the revenue department who took care of that sort of thing. So, there was no technical person was available. I was the first technical person employed in public health engineering. Our main work was in the rural villages. The scheme was, it's called Rural Water Supply and Sanitation Scheme. There, the protected water supply should be given to the village people. 
instead of making their own vessels to go into the well directly to the uh, well and then take it and make the water to be infected uh, the water uh, the well should be covered water should be pumped to the overhead tank and from the overhead tank through yeah. the distributed pipes the water should be taken in the taps that's how the scheme was i did about 450 such works oh. uh, in uh, the district of ramanathapuram at that time ramanathapuram that got split into many districts now But so uh, that was the period from 1959 sorry 56 to 59 59 three years almost three, three years, years you worked in three years and then, then the, I, i i enjoyed the work simply because of the fact a lot of learning was there being a mechanical engineer i had the opportunity to select the machineries for pumping chlorinator uh, how to uh, give tender then how to choose the machine Uh, such opportunities were available so i enjoyed you that you must have been very thorough with the yeah, procedures right. more than anything right else. and so besides how, how it occurred that you came to iit i'll tell uh, you yeah. uh, cogently if i tell right, you right, 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 that so how to design the foundation how to even choose the soil for getting the foundation for the overhead tank pump house and all that was my job so you prepare the estimate get it sanction execute yourself it is the enjoyment was your own estimate you finally see that it is working that was a joy mm. so that made me to continue without even worrying about going elsewhere so in during that period i had some difficulties in the sense there was an interference from the devani department they were technically interfering one example i will try to give if you would think it's yeah, necessary please, please. there was a village wherein we had to put about 2 hp motor for pumping water to the overhead tank from the well and the panchayat board president was a very qualified person he asked me uh, would this be all right sir i said yes then he said oh, well, can we do that i told him there is a 3 hp motor available english make which uh, has already been bought al- by my predecessors so the government regulation is to install that first before buying elsewhere because government contributed to that cost and besides that was a higher arts power the power is more it was cheaper because the money has to be divided 25% by the villages 25% by the state government and 50% by the government so the 2 hp motor was costlier than the existing 3 hp motor so we erected and everybody was happy then later on some villages uh, induced the panchayat board president and they said it was wrongly inst- uh, installed because the consumption of electricity will be more because it is 3 hp motor mm. i explained to him it is not then this was challenged and then there was a sub collector who said i am a physics honest man don't tell me i was very much angry i was very young and uh, somebody challenged when all these things are there i was interested in learning so i said if physics honest can manage my job is unnecessarily given here then immediately i wrote to the chief engineer saying that this is what has happened so i would like to make me go you kindly make me go elsewhere i like to learn because i was just about 23 or 24 years old then this was known to the collector he knew what exactly was the difficulty cvr panikar and then he interfered and pacified me but uh, that started me to think of leaving the department there was also another instance there was a certificate holder engineer the work was very well be, uh, doing it for two years uh, after the completion of the work it was beautiful there was any problem at all he inspected and then said that it is a colossal waste which pricked me a lot and then please ask the villagers was any problem the villagers were very happy that was a diesel engine run pump because there wasn't electricity there at that time so i asked him why is that colossal waste then he said i am an executive engineer say do what i say with the certificate uh, yes, holder, yeah, holder yeah, became executive promotion. engineer okay. okay so these were such a some of the things which made me to feel that i cannot grow there so i felt that earliest opportunity is better to go so i had already applied for bilai steel plant at that time the steel plants were very popular i was asked to come for an interview at delhi for making me to go to russia then when i went there 
the department did not give me the permission to leave the department but orally they said if you want to attend the interview please attend so i attended everybody was even filling up the uh, forms for passport and all that i was a lone fellow I was very much disappointed because I was not even interviewed simply because they didn't carry the letter from the no department. No, permission, normally no they expect no right. objections. Sir. So yeah. I came all the way from Delhi to Chennai with a very big disappointment. Straight went to the PWD office, told them this is what is my future uh, going to be bored. Could you not help me? He said if that is the case, we will give you the permission. You can again appear next time whenever an interview takes place. So the permission letter was given. but no such interview immediately was taking place so while they were preparing that letter of permission i came to engineering college gindi just because i had time i met that in the morning met the uh, officer in the morning and they said that you collected in the evening so during that time being a bachelor didn't have any other work and chennai was not this big at that time so i just came to college of engineering gindi there there was an advertisement we are going to start post graduate course in internal combustion engineering so that attracted me because when i was working there in rural water supply scheme there were a lot of internal combustion engineering problems i faced particularly vibrations and uh, the life of engine and all that so that was also challenged by some of the people who were above me so that attracted me i immediately was willing to join the course and i forgot about the bilai seal plant i decided not to go to bilai seal plant even if there is an interview that is going to come later so fortunately i was given admission professor ap jambalingam was the professor in charge of the mm-hmm. internal combustion engineering and uh, that was very much well monitored by our uh, professor ramchandran who happened to be in indian for science at that time so that was a very happy thing we did not know later that he himself would become a director to us <laughs> so it was a very well monitored course and i attended I was the first batch student uh, there is a gentleman called uh, there was a gentleman called uh, professor ramani who happened to be my classmate later on he became also a colleague of mine we both attended interview at that time in vice chancellor's office the interview normally used to take place only in the vice chancellor's office where professor lakshman samalyar was the vice chancellor he happened to be the chairman of this institute also mm, mm. that's how professor singhuvatta was a member professor lakshma malyar was the chairman so we got the interview first interview was for the department of applied mechanics there wasn't any so faculty after at all at completing the ic engine program to no, first there, there were series of interviews a few uh, interviews But were taken for each pursuing department a, a post graduate program in ic engines no i was by that time Uh, okay before even i had a career i forgot to mention that mm. immediately after the pwd i joined the uh, uh, internal department internal engineering department internal engineering combustion, combustion internal engineering pg pg but then i was a student mm-hmm. full time since by the time i had resigned It the pwd it should be a two year program two year program. program during the time uh, while i was about to write the dissertation mm. i was recruited in regional engineering college warangal oh. as a lecturer so professor jambalingam felt happy that you please accept it then he got the permission that i could join the college later after i finish my dissertation the college also accepted after all when a person gets a degree it is good to the college so after finishing the course i joined warangal regional engineering college in the department of mechanical engineering as a lecturer then i was very happy there people cooperated excellent institution then about 6 months later during the period of 6 months i was uh, feeling a little uh, uneasy simply because what is the further development for me mm. there was a newly started college there wasn't any program further so i was unsure whether it is good for me to continue there so i met the principal the principal felt sorry that i uh, i should not leave the institution immediately because you just joined only 6 yeah. months back then i met professor cvr cvr murthy who happened to be the director of technical education i told him whose son only died in an airplane crash mm. who was at uh, uh, at uh, um, adyar mm. 
mm. you might have probably recollected a very nice gentleman and he said well uh, if you don't mind uh, you will have to resign because we can't forward your application to apply elsewhere if you want to go mm -hmm. I, i resigned and i was jobless for about a month till an interview was given for we arranged for iit madras so i stayed in chennai the interview was at uh, vice chancellor's office chennai uh, professor ramani who happened to be my classmate and i we both applied and uh, professor ramani applied to the department of mechanical engineering whereas i applied to both applied mechanics and mechanical engineering on the fear i was jobless because professor ramani had a job already in mit so he didn't mind uh, only restricting himself to mechanical engineering so i didn't want to take a risk so i applied to both the departments the first trip, uh, interview was for the applied mechanics department on on one particular day then the interview was over i didn't know the results and all that professor nadrajan was the registrar at that time r nadrajan who passed away recently then i came out there wasn't any news about the selection or so next day was the uh, interview for the department of mechanical engineering lecturer both ramani and myself applied i mean went uh, also the interview we were only praying that both of us should be taken because we both were very de dear colleagues we didn't want to miss each other so both attended the interview for a long time we did not know the results then i went home to the village one fine morning i got the letter saying that you are selected the applied mechanics the second day when i went for the, the interview for the mechanical engineering ramani was interviewed when i went inside uh, there were some sort of talk within the members then there wasn't any question asked at all for me during the mechanical engineering interview i was sent out so i decided that i was not qualified i was not selected so with a disappointment instead of remaining at chennai i went to my village i was thinking of making some sort of entrepreneurship or something like that of that kind so i didn't want to idle because i being young i was interested to know what should i do so when that was the thought all of a sudden there was a turning point the appointment order straight away came then later on i asked professor nadrajan why is that that i was not interviewed on the next day in mechanical engineering he smiled and told we had selected you already in the applied department of applied mechanics in the previous day yeah. we did not want to have the confusion and did not want you to have the choice we wanted to have the choice ourselves so that's what he was told professor me. ramani selected for mechanical professor ramani was selected i was also happy because both of us being classmate we came to the institution in the yeah. same grade and he went to the internal combustion engineering because we both studied industrial industrial combustion engineering in the same PG. college so they, i joined department of applied mechanics he joined the mechanical engineering department in the industrial uh, internal combustion engineering laboratory yes it's very interesting sir because i graduated from college of engineering in delhi uh -huh. and did my masters in phd college of technology exactly reverse, reverse, reverse of okay. what okay. you have gone through right right, right sir very interesting right. then, uh, then when when you joined applied mechanics yeah i was i, I became was a faculty building, member uh, was the building here in this campus Nothing. no there wasn't anything at all huh. and professor krauss called me Uh, can uh, we have a look at professor kraus uh, can we have the photograph of kraus and yeah, uh, probably sure. you can identify sure, him sure uh, cuz not many people will be able to identify yeah. him he uh, looked more like de gaulle of yes. france <laughs> professor no he is no. not here no uh, yeah that is professor kraus the tallest person okay on the left on, the uh, on left to my most, left left to most. most and can you uh, the right most is professor uh, I think this is Mr. Venkata Raman. I'm not sure about that. Right, sir. He is Minister, Venkata. Minister of Industrial Engineering, Industrial Plant. This is Professor Sengupta and Professor Sapsa Malyar and uh, Professor Kraus. Sengupta was our former director. He was first the first director. director. First director. And uh, he. Yellow Santhya Gant was the uh, was not called a director, but was called a special officer. Special officer. He took care of all the works of the director. Do you remember, sir, thing. where from Professor Sengupta came? Uh, Sen Gupta was, was VJTI VJ. of uh, uh, Bombay. Bombay, right. right. Nice, sir. You are able to recollect. Right, you know. right. So, anything right. you want to say about, you uh, know, Professor uh, nothing. Krauss? Nothing. Uh, I think probably they must be having some discussion there. No, no. He was the chairman of the institution, Professor Lakshman mm -hmm. Malyar, and uh, it is his effort which made us to come to this campus. Right. Originally, 
he was very much interested in trying to make this campus go to Bangalore. But it is not only his efforts, it's the effort of uh, Mr. C. Subramaniam, who happened to be the Minister of Education at that time. And in fact, the, if the, I am correct, the, the, uh, Kamaraj was the Chief Kamaraj Minister. Kamaraj was the Chief Minister and C. Subramaniam was the Education Minister. Kakkan it is no, the effort sir? of Kakkan, Kakkan also was there, yeah. but uh, he was in a different uh, portfolio. Mm -hmm. So, these two people were very particular to choose Madras should be the place. At the time, there wasn't any Chennai, it was only Madras. Madras. Madras should be the place for starting the institution, IIT Madras. Because they were arguing in South, there wasn't any institution. Bangalore already, Indian science is there. Why do you want to take it again there? So, the pressure with both Mr. Kamaraj and C. Subramaniam was very heavy. And they immediately said there wasn't any problem for the land because the uh, Raj Bhavan. Yeah, the yeah. governor's palace has uh, quite a lot of land unused, so that could be the place where it could be started. And moreover, this would be developed as an education center because Gindi Engineering College was already there. So, if this is also going to be here, it would be a very good uh, gesture because education center would be at this particular place, like they argued, and nobody could deny that. So, it started. That's how it was on 30th, 31st July. 1959, it, the foundation stone was officially made, but formally it was on 17th August 1959 at CLRI complex, which I happened to attend, if I remember correctly the date. Sir, when you joined... I was a student at that time in Gindi Engineering College. I was fascinated the way in which uh, we uh, there is going to be a thought of starting a higher institution. So, I came to attend the, the foundation ceremony. Mm. So, I was a student at that time. I never imagined that I would be a faculty later, two years later. So, after I completed the internal combustion engineering course, I went to Warangal, I told you. Then, after Warangal, simply because of the general, I mean, generous attitude of Professor C.V.R. Murthy, I was relieved. Then, I was appointed here. Then, uh, on my appointment, first person whom I met was the registrar, Professor R. Natarajan, who handed over the appointment officially even though it came in post. Then immediately he requested me to meet Professor Krauss. Professor Krauss, he was the architect of the entire institution. He only planned, everything was planned. And in applied mechanics, he was very much concentrating on fluid mechanics laboratory because he had already developed what sort of laboratory it should be and all that. Was there any other person in applied mechanics when you, when you joined, sir? You are the first the, person. the first member. And then all other... Later on. Okay, no, Professor B. V. Rao and no, then... after me joined Professor D. V. Reddy. D. V. Reddy. He right. is from which specialization? D. V. Reddy was... Uh, 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 he took his PhD in Liverpool and he directly joined here. As, in which As lab? assistant professor. In At that lab? time, PhDs were very rare. Yeah, right, sir. But so, uh, he was a PhD from abroad. And uh, people felt that he should be at least given an assistant professor's post. Right. So he was an assistant professor, I was a lecturer. Right. So we both were the people who originally there. He there belongs to be fluid mechanics or? No, he is a structural man, structural. mechanics. Uh, mechanics. Okay. He is a civil engineer right. with structural engineering background. He did his PhD in structural engineering right. side. Right. So then there used to be a joke, everybody used to say, he had a car. And we both used to sit in the car, go for lunch and all that. So people used to make a, when the entire department is in the car. So, okay. so, you two were there. Were there. <laughs> right. Very nice. Right. And then there was also a joke which I don't know whether it is connected here. He took me to his house and uh, he secretly told me, saying, My father is no more, my mother only is there. So, I will pretend as if I am junior to you. So, uh, I would uh, tell my mother, So, keep quiet, don't say anything. Then we went there, immediately he told his mother that I was his boss. Then his mother began making a very big show, saying, uh, my Koduko is a very nice person, be careful, uh, don't punish him, all that. Okay. And a very innocent so, the story lady. was different. Uh, innocent lady. <laughs> so, that Professor D. V. Reddy was to enjoy. So, after that, he told clearly that I just made a fun. So, uh, it was a very enjoyable uh, company. And then later on, one Mr. A.C. Gangadharan joined. He was also a civil engineer. He belonged to the same discipline as Professor D. V. Reddy. Mm -hmm. Then there wasn't any mechanical engineering for quite some time. Then after Professor A. C. Gangadharan joined, Professor Narasimhamurthy joined. And Professor Narasimhamurthy was interested in fluid mechanics side. Ah, okay. So that's how he was recruited. 
So there was structural engineering side, fluid, fluid mechanics. mechanics side. There wasn't anything on the mechanical engineering side except me. Mm -hmm. Because the courses like theory of machines, kinematics and dynamics of machinery, vibrations, everything belonged at that time to applied mechanics. So there was a necessity for certain mechanical engineering people to be there. So I happened to be the first fellow. I was offering the courses like theory of machines, vibrations and all that. During the time, Professor Hauch joined H-A-U-G. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, he was recruited by Professor Krauss from Germany. All the professors from Germany wa were through Professor Krauss only. On his recommendation only, the government of Germany would send. So he was uh, sent here to develop the laboratory of Applied Mechanics Department, he being a vibrations man. So he took some classes and all that and uh, we both were there originally, that's all. Then after some time, when the students moved to the upper classes, more faculty were necessary, then BVA Rao was recruited. Along with me, Professor Chandrasekhar Swami also was recruited, which I forgot to tell you. Mm -hmm. He joined much later. I, I joined, DV Reddy joined later. A.C. Gangadharan third as a third person. Narasi Mumurthy was jo uh, he joined as the fourth person. Fifth person was Professor N.V.C. Swami. He was he, also director of our IIT for later on. Later on. Later on. Right. right. So. He, he was doing his PhD. He was in the middle of the work. So the institution gave permission to him. You, you are selected, but join after you completed. Conditional offer. Conditional offer. He was, uh, he was uh, Professor Gundurao of IIS. He was the guide Ex for him. Mm -hmm. He joined and he was the first uh, senior person in fluid mechanics because Assistant professor was the senior most position at that time. Narasi Mosti was a lecturer. Mm -hmm. So, two people in the fluid mechanics and uh, two people already there in the Structures. structural side. I was the only fellow in mechanical side. So, later on, Professor B. V. A. Rao, who was working in Indian Institute of Technology, Bombay, he was recruited in, in mechanical engineering. So, in mechanical side were two, in fluid mechanics side two, and structural engineering side two. So six people were there and there were three de department, three laboratories. We ourselves made that sort of division for convenience. Even though can there was name, no big can demarcation. Those, can you name those laboratories? Yeah, uh, the uh, fluid mechanics laboratory was already established in concept in paper by Professor Krauss. Mm -hmm. So the area was marked, everything was there and it had already been making plans for uh, tunnel, wind tunnel and things like that from Germany. So that remained as it is. Then uh, PSC University joined later, I will mm -hmm. tell you about yes. that. Then uh, the uh, vibrations laboratory or machine dynamics laboratory or elasticity laboratory, structural laboratory, how to name was a confusion. So that was left for ourselves. So Professor D.V. Reddy named the structural part as elasticity section. Mm -hmm. So elasticity laboratory, fluid mechanics laboratory. Then for the mechanical engineering side, we were not knowing how to do it. So originally we named that as vibration laboratory. Then later on, the subjects like uh, theory of machines, uh, dynamics of uh, machinery, kinematics, all these also came. Then the name vibrations may not be proper. So the, that was changed to machine dynamics laboratory subsequently. So yeah. that continued, yeah. machine dynamics laboratory, elasticity section they called instead of laboratory, elasticity section, machine dynamics section and then a fluid mechanics section. Then after some time that section name was taken off and then put as laboratory. Elaborate. And by that time there was a gentleman called Professor P. S. Srinivasan who was recruited as the first faculty in mechanical engineering in our institution before even we joined. He was much senior to me in the joining, even though we were classmates. We belonged to the same batch and we were in classmates for some time in PhD College of Technology. Later on, he moved to Government uh, College of Technology at Coimbatore. So, it was a pleasure again to see Professor P. S. was and another classmate like Professor Ramani. He joined Fluid Mechanics. Why he joined later was, he was recruited along with one Mr. Padmanabhan. These two were there together to offer course for the engineering drawing 
at that time it was called a geometric drawing so very specifically these were trained to teach drawing so they were sent to germany mm -hmm. for making efforts for getting them trained in drawing and while they were in germany professor kraus felt that specializing in drawing alone is not going to be of any use so he diverted them when they were staying there that professor sinewasan should be more trained towards fluid mechanics because we are going to start the fluid mechanics laboratory here it was his architecture very beautiful architecture that is why i say that professor kraus should be very much highlighted in every place in fact professor sengutto himself used to take the advice of professor kraus for every every now and then mm -hmm. then professor p s sinewasan after his training in germany oh. there wasn't any degree it was only a training so after the training he was posted to department of applied mechanics uh, in the fluid mechanics side then professor padmanabhan basically electrical engineering person he was even though both were offering drawing courses professor padmanabhan was posted to mechanical engineering on the precision engineering side actually it was known as fine techniques lab fine, later time. on it became fine techniques laboratory at that time it was precision engineering to start with Listen, later on only it became right. Maybe I, I forgot. At yeah. that time, it was fine techniques. Yeah, fine techniques. I, I remember. Uh, you are right. You are right. No, fine techniques. Yes. Sir. So he he was the first fellow in uh, fine techniques laboratory. Like P. S. Anivasan, even though he was only second, but he was more a dominating person because he trained in Germany, and for everything, P. S. Anivasan was uh, asked to reply. And fluid mechanics side, Professor Kraus directly used to call him, and similarly, Professor Padmanabhan used to be directly called by Professor Kraus. and he he was a center of uh, uh, any decision that's how the applied mechanics got started we were more getting divided so i belong to the mechanical engineering side with professor b a v a rao Sir, myself uh, later on some more faculty joined and the department became became little bigger just at that time only professor wagner joined hans wagner Uh, when okay. after B B V R joined, can you remember the time he joined? Uh, maybe sixty uh, eight. Uh, I am able so to recollect. Any late sixty, yeah, I think. Professor B V R was uh, already a doctorate Little, degree holder. Yeah, he was a uh, East German joined, East German doctorate. Oh, so when he joined, he was a doctorate already. Yeah, East German doctorate. It was not recognized so, by the government of but China. But his designation was. Uh, yeah, yeah. Personal. There was a fight actually. Professor Lajmsa Mollier fought, saying that this is German collaborated institution. how how can we refuse you know same lecture sir malyar refused to accept it in in university of madras there was a controversy okay. so he was recruited and he felt comfortable because he is a recognized place for his degree he joined here okay. so uh, uh, subsequently some more faculty junior members and all that joined and each each laboratory recruited its own uh, people qualified the for them right and much Thank later you. only the fourth section called biomechanics started with professor radhakrishnan and uh, professor uh, patel yes radhakrishnan yes radhakrishnan yes, patel. patel patel happened to be my student oh, in our own institution iit very madras very and then one gentleman who passed away uh, patel's uh, senior i forget his name uh, it used to be in the letter g started this sir yeah yeah professor he, he, uh, yeah right okay he he <laughs> because uh -huh. about professor gissa i have heard about it right him. right and uh, he joined in senate he, he was asked to explain right, what right. is biomechanics right <laughs> and he jumped into the bowl i don't know how far it is sure yeah, right, then... true true <laughs> he was the advisor for professor patel right sir, so right. when patel was recruited he also was recruited both of them joined the biomechanics section right, of the fourth section now, of department of applied mechanics now sir uh, now people with the doctorate joining you would have also been tempted to acquire the highest yeah, degree yeah yeah naturally so what was your effort in okay, uh, okay. trying to get that so when i joined the phd uh, uh, joined the did you register for phd sure. here yes, it's yes 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 or elsewhere like i registered i'll tell you that right sir That's then after having after having the joined yeah. that uh. I was interested in trying to register for a PhD. He is Professor Wagner. Professor Wagner, right? Wagner, or Wagner, or Wagner, Wagner, Wagner. Because A in German language yeah, is A, 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 not right, A. Right. Uh, e is A. And German, uh, no, Russian, uh, no, Americans say Wag. <laughs> no, okay. even our our car, uh, Wagner. It should not be Wagner. Okay. Okay. Uh, it's Wagner, but people use a Wagner. Right, right. Sir, right. Anyway, so please, anyway, sir, about uh, your uh, program. Okay. No. Then I, I had the ambition after having joined because 
I was more interested in my growth. That's mm -hmm. how I remained, I mean, resigned P PWD and all that anyway. So, when that was the case, I asked Professor B. V. Rao whether it would be possible for him to guide me mm -hmm. and register me. He said yes, but there were some technical problems. And then Professor D. V. Redvi advised me, it would be better that you register with somebody else in mechanical engineering, you being basically mechanical engineering. So, at that time there was not much of doctorate people available excepting Professor V. C. Venkatesh mm -hmm. who was in manufacturing side. Then I did not have any choice. So, I registered with Professor V. C. Venkatesh to have the wear in gears. We started building up test rig and all that. Initially some drawings were made and things like that. Not much of progress could go because I belonged to two departments mm -hmm. there. There was a conflict. I, I also happened to be taking the responsibility of an assistant wardenship. Mm. There was a very big uh, difficulty to coordinate because uh, the Can hostels you, were… Do you, do you remember the hostel name sir? Where Discovery. Discovery. Discovery was the first hostel. Okay. Later on was uh, the next one was… Uh, Krishna. What was the next one? Next, Krishna. Forget. Krishna. The, uh, just one. Uh, Krishna hostel. Krishna hostel, right. Krishna. No, memory goes off. No, don't worry Krishna. sir. Krishna. Yeah. Yes. Kaveri was fully developed. Right. Krishna was half done. It's a bit… Yeah. Right. I am losing memory. Yeah. Uh, if you, I am you, here to help you out. Right. Thank you. Yeah. Thank so, you. No, I am able to find out. I should uh, accept it that my age uh, makes no, me no, forget many have, things. You have wealth of information that is more than anything. Uh, that is ok. Right? I, so, joined uh, the very first day itself I joined as an assistant warden in Kaveri Hostel. Oh, right from uh, 6. Right. Very, uh, six, uh, Kaveri Hostel was existing and uh, the hostel was elsewhere functioning. In the building Kaveri hostel after it was built here, I happened to be the first assistant oh, okay, warden, right, that is all. Right, right. But uh, hostels were existing even earlier Somewhere. at Saidapet and all that. Right, right. The building was ready only here. Right. Then uh, being an assistant warden, being in the department of applied mechanics, doing PhD, doing PhD there, mechanical at that time was difficult because a lot of administrative works were there. In fact, to be frank, if I do not go to the hostel in time, some uh, tins of oil will go off <laughs> and I am had to periodically visit to see that everything is alright because it is uh, students money and Professor Swami was our uh, friend, we, we both lived in the same hostel. By the time of course, he joined us a little bit better developed than what it was earlier. So, very frequently silently used to go, I used to make the director know that, Professor Simgupto know, knew and he used to periodically visit, he was also liking the way which uh, in which we did. It was also an interesting point in the hostel. If you think that is necessary, I will tell please, you here. Please, sir. Uh, in the hostel, there were two different sections, vegetarian, non-vegetarian. Everything was separate, excepting the dining hall was not partitioned. So, I asked I Professor Singh. We had two kitchens also, non-vegetarian. Two kitchens, two, kitchen, yeah. two places where you can display things, take things, everything separate. Even cooks were separate, yeah. everything separate, vessels were separate, excepting for the partition in the dining hall. So, being the assistant warden, I was just interested in trying to know why it was not done. Professor Sengupto periodically used to visit, very uh, much interested in developing the hostel. So, he came there and I asked him, why is that there was not any partition? He smiled. Then, for some time, he did not reply. In, in those days, we had the liberty to ask very freely Professor Sengupto, he won't mistake. He was the director. He was also. the one the director. He did not have any, I mean we did not have any fear that he is the director, how can we talk to him and things like that, very frank. Then I asked him, if you are silent, how do I know what the answer is? So, for which again he smiled, smile is not the answer. <laughs> <laughs> that is what was. Then he, he said, I will ask, ask a question to you, he has said, our students are going to be very bright and they are going to study in abroad and a lot of development is expected from them uh, by their own studies to our country. When they go uh, in a flight, they are seated by the side there was a non-vegetarian, our boy is a vegetarian. Will he jump off the flight just because he could not tolerate a non-vegetarian is by the side? If so, is it not our duty to train our own students to tolerate anything? whether he is a vegetarian, non-vegetarian to see that a vegetarian should tolerate a non-vegetarian sitting by the side in eating. Very nice idea. Right. That was the lesson I understood. Then never asked the question, have I answered? He asked me, 
very much i said <laughs> then no hostel here we had any partition right, as he imagined later on friends uh, vegetarian non vegetarian they used to mix with each other eat side by side there wasn't any necessity for us to even think of putting a partition so that was a very interesting thing which i learned from professor sen gupto mm. then uh, because of the difficulty of time factor for me uh, even though i could i could register Sir, were not you married much, at the time also no i was not married oh, okay. we would have been married they, nobody mm. would have given me the assistant warden's position right I right see. that was uh, in the year 61 2 i was there only for a very short period uh, later on i moved outside living with the cook because my parents had threatened me that any time i might get married mm -hmm. so if that is a case then if i am the hostel those days very difficult to get a house if i get married to make my family live so i i out of necessity i moved out not because i did not like the hostel life which place you stayed adair adair i took an independent a small house fortunately there was a cook who happened to know me right from my childhood and he came there to help me so he was a cook i was enjoying his cook uh, enjoying his stay i was living there for some time but uh, he is a cook he didn't know anything about uh, counting uh, money or numbers or nothing if you give him some 2 rupees to buy something he doesn't know what is the balance and how much uh, uh, he paid and all that i mean 2 rupees is a very big money at that time so for some time he was working there and uh, he was a very good cook he couldn't remain there idle so silently one day he left and when i went there he wasn't there so i felt what to do uh, my marriage also was getting postponed join back the hostel join back the hostel again in kaveri i was wanted actually uh, to join the hostel professor venkatrao first professor uh, chemical chemical engineering professor uh, chemical engineering uh, venkateswarulu venkateswarulu was my warden chemical engineering professor venkatrao became the warden second time i was there for some some time uh, then again there was a temptation then i might get married then on the fear that i may not even get a house i went back and i was there remaining then i took a, a decision not to come to the hostel at all because this delhi dallying is not at all possible then the marriage somehow got delayed and then professor sankaran became the warden of tapti hostel p sankaran of electrical engineering no k s sankaran of civil engineering of civil engineering sir. right he right. became the warden and there are two sankarans right k s sankaran somehow he was very fond of me he said i want you to be the assistant warden otherwise i would not be a warden what do you say he said it was a very embarrassing situation for me i said fine then fortunately for me to relieve get myself relieved from the assistant wardenship got married the lady joined me on the very day of marriage we moved in here and uh, i was fortunate to get the campus you got yes, accommodation i was fortunate to get the campus allotment a d flat d type flat was allotted earlier to that in the campus now the campus in is very much in a sort of a rush to move first movement of the campus was funny a uh, professor uh, uh, physics professor uh, i don't know i forget every time the name hmm fps sastri ah Professor Sastri, right? He was the person first moving. Professor Sengupto put an order because nobody was willing to move, and quarters were built. What to do? So, those who don't move into the quarters, I am going to cut the house in allowance, and uh, there will be a lot of punishment, and they would not get the priority when the allotment comes once you refuse. So that order threatened everybody. Then Professor Sastri willingly joined and was very happy. and professor sengupto congratulated him there after of course the campus became very popular and was very nice you heard about professor sengupto professor sengupto was living in adyar he used to come by an ambassador car red in color when he entered into the gate normally the campus was not occupied by anybody excepting snakes so there were a lot of people waiting to move into the campus at that time the vehicle comfort and all that was not there so he never behaved like a director he dumped as many people as possible in his car even though ambassador car can accommodate maximum 4 6 7 are all very common and he used to drive through that was the generosity with which the first director was here in this campus 
another interesting thing about professor sergopto which i would like to share here if i am permitted he took uh, care aerially to view the campus to find out how to make the roads jane that was also the advice of professor kraus then he found the path in such a way the minimum number of plantations should be cut that's how our roads are curvy and he was also happy the roads are curvy because it is a natural uh, way of uh, what do you call the uh, uh, the tada podradhukku enna peru yeah for uh, finding the path yeah, yeah. Na- so, naturally there wasn't any necessity for us to build in an artificial thing right. it was natural in fact professor v c kulanda sami who happened to be the uh, uh, vice chancellor later uh, he was a director of technical education any director of technical education ex officio is a mer- member in the board he asked a question in the board saying that we did a mistake of roads to be curvy uh, we should have been straight would have been beautiful for which professor sen gupta answered beautifully this is the reason and then he couldn't say any word mm. and professor kraus also appreciated that that's how the campus became uh, with very good uh, plantations remaining as they are right now and that credit goes to professor sen gupta sir you uh, now we were uh, dwelling upon your phd program right then, i, I uh, deviated no, i'm yeah, sorry it doesn't matter uh, but uh, uh, taking too but much time uh, no 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 uh, what then, happened then then uh, after some time professor venkatesh and i were guide and students like things didn't go very well then there was an offer to go to germany uh, uh, i was the only person recommended by the department of applied mechanics by professor reddy was very happy that I, i was proposed and there wasn't any competition like that many people also were proposed in the respective departments when everything went on we were instructed to see that you vacate the quarters and uh, dump whatever that is uh, available in your own home and after you, you return back you bring all that the quarters would be reallotted to you so i did everything but there was a big shock four of us four uh, uh, did not get any information later while others got it was a surprise sundaresan of metallurgy myself wow. beam shankar sastri of physics and again are in electrical these four were not there that is because of some political reason let me not explain that here no, uh, it is yeah. not good also so later on i was upset i had the liberty to uh, saying professor singupto to see professor singupto i directly went into professor singupto's house asked him what's the matter he somehow didn't answer properly then he said well germany is not the only country you have other countries why do you bother about it so later on it was very embarrassing for me to ask so i was a little disappointed just at that time only out of challenge i began applying abroad i didn't want to remain here because i felt as if i was insulted yeah. then i i processing with you i used to talk to him very frankly but uh, no if yeah. i am correct you went to the most famous prestigious yeah. institution right. in right. usa right. mit right. in fact right. and also the guide was a very excellent man yeah. and he was a very well known man and uh, because of that work i was uh, given an honor uh, a, a very good award was presented to me in new york october 74 and uh, the work was uh, very much respected in japan in uk and also usa for railroad constructions they were interested in using this work to calculate the wear and then trying to design that the work was concentrating on that professor enrich hertz was making certain spring constant on contacts contact mechanics my work was more on contact mechanics vibrations i had the possibility of finding out the damping coefficient in sort of spring so that contribution they felt as if is very good so, so that, that you, later on made re- me returned back in 73 73 70 to 73 i was a student I returned back in 73 Did you i joined back, back the department of applied uh, mechanics applied again mechanics, right 73 then when uh, i i was given the elevation as an assistant professor simply because i had the phd yeah. degree it took some time anyway immediately not joining but after some time um, uh i i was asked whether i would be comfortable here i said i am comfortable anywhere doesn't matter because the vibration laboratory is also done then there was a necessity uh, for a, a person to be recruited for the engineering design center professor ramchandran by the time had started engineering design center mm-hmm. professor chennabasavan was the first man recruited uh, the engineering design center as a man in charge then i was uh, interviewed 
I was uh, selected. Then, won't you be interested in going to uh, Engineering Design Center? I accepted that. Then, within about few months, there was an offer from US for a postdoctoral work. The same place where a professor was very much in interested. So, it was a very embarrassing situation to ask leave. Professor Narayan Muthi was the director. He felt uh, it is not advisable for you to go. So, be here. That was 70, 70, 74, 77, 77, 79. Much later. 77, yes, right. Yes. Now, I was there after 73 for 4 so years. How did you move into a ME and MH? In, in oh, after the Engineering Design Center, mm -hmm. the Professor Narayan Murthy himself said, mm -hmm. it is better that you go to MEMH mm -hmm. because he was in charge of Mechanical Engineering Professor. So, I went there. Again, there was my own classmate sitting there, Professor Raidu, mm -hmm. like Ramani, Raidu and many other people, classmates were. So, I joined my MEMH. After some time only, this offer came and the Engineering Design Center also was born. Then it was difficult for me to convince Professor Narayana Murthy to to yeah. so time up. This is the no, this Already is the ME and MH. Uh, okay. In fact, now the name has been changed, sir. Uh, yeah. If you see that it's a machine yeah, elements yeah, and mechanical handling yeah. laboratory. Now it is called machine design. Right. I, I knew that. Right. I knew that because mechanical so, machine. This is the mechanical. What is that? The the uh, the other side mechanical handling. There was there isn't anybody. Mechanical there. handling is closed. Nobody is there. No, All the three are. And, uh, for your information, mm. that Machine Dynamics Group in Applied Mechanics mm. joined our department. Yeah, I know that. So, they I are with that. us now. Professor Ramurthy so was very much interested in that. If you had continued joined. in me uh, Mechanics, yeah. the me Machine Dynamics, I would have moved would automatically. Have moved yeah. automatically. Okay. Yeah. Can you recognize some of these people? Uh, Professor uh, Ramchandran yeah. and uh, Professor Sampad this side. Mm. And uh, that gentleman is, uh, I, I know him, I forget his name. His name would start with the letter B. I forget that. Best the gentleman with the... Uh, yeah, I, I forget his name. Right. The man with spectacles, a German, right. a nice gentleman. I forget Professor Narayan Muthi at the back of Professor Ramchandran, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. just right. behind him. Of course, they are all workers and he is the person who has inaugurated Kerkhoff. Oh, so, all these people yeah. I know, I am able to recollect. Very, very and there was a, this person also I know, I forget that. The, the a, a person between Professor, Sa oh, yeah, that is Sampat, right. Yeah. And, and he, so, he, I knew very well, but uh, he is uh, a bit handicapped person. Do you remember? Uh, he used Herbert. to walk a little. Herbert? Uh, Her no, no. Herbert is. Uh, workshop. Herbert. Workshop. No, uh, yeah, yeah. Ebert. He, Ebert. Sorry. Yeah, Ebert. I, I forget his name. I forget that okay. now. Anyway, it doesn't matter. So, very interesting, sir. Uh, you moved into uh, mechanical ME and MH in 77. Yeah. Uh, from Engineering Design Center. Oh. I joined ME and MH in 74. Okay. As a technical, as senior right. technical right, assistant. Right, right. Only to teach drawing. Okay. 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 I was also doing PhD at that time. So just for you know, Fine. remember. Very good. So then, sir, uh, what happened? You no, know, in MEMH, you know, can you even Ramayan? Yeah, yeah. Ramayan and others also joined at that time. Uh, right, they were, right. They were all faculty in Anna University. Then you were uh, developing a setup in the ME and MH. Yeah, ME and MH. The first PhD student was Professor Balavir Reddy, uh -huh. and he was a very dynamic person. This Do was set up. Yes. This was set up, and. Uh, very much uh, respect I must give to this because he worked night and day leaving his family at the other coast and uh, he built in, he is already a man with four daughters and a son and uh, they were all in desert and he came there very much concentrated in PhD work. He did this uh, equipment. Can you say, say anything special about this equipment? Sure, because the special feature is there is a slot there uh, when the uh, Slot is not there because of the metal. When a conductor go, uh, goes just in between a magnet, there will be a generation of current. So, there is an eddy current. The moment uh, the slot comes, the eddy current will disappear. So, uh, a current, a slot, a current, a slot, that will give an electric brake. So, this brake was utilized on a gear shaft to see the two gears when they mesh. Uh, one gear will be running the other gear will be preventing yeah. just because of intermediate braking. So, when there is a hit, since I did already on contact mechanics, I was interested in making this contact mechanics applied on gears. That was the work, yeah. the, for that only this was built. Later on, yeah. by changing parameters, many other works could also be done. Sir, this if I am correct, right, it is also a non-contact sensing arrangement, yeah, right. because you know, there is no contact sensor yeah, here. Right. So, you can. Uh, Remotely right, correct right. the signal. Yeah, that's that's right. another that's advantage right. of this. Sir, damping, Subsequently, 
many people worked on this if i am correct not yeah, only balveer right. reddy if i am correct vengat yes, raman seven, seven people seven did people. work on that so yeah. one setup seven people, people i think and, yeah. and th this was also wanted in some of the this is self financing engineering colleges right. to build up to take it because iit did not after some time want it but later on they were hesitating move and all that and there wasn't anybody to use it properly that's how it got diminished i don't know what happened for subsequently i didn't go to the laboratory further whether that the setup is continuing there or not, i don't know no a lot of revamping has been yeah, done okay. new so, equipment have right come it's too old right. uh, probably some more better concepts would have come now and uh, too old yeah so, i'm sorry i have taken a uh, lot no, of time no 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 uh, no it was very interesting to okay. talk to you so you retired then after you just start me the career uh, then i moved engineering design center then i was given an offer to you be in the mechanical engineering department as a faculty at the time at the same time to be in the engineering design center so faculty in mechanical engineering and uh, chief de design engineer in uh, engineering design center this sort of uh, thing again disturbed me very much then after some time professor ls srinath felt uh the engineering design center was the concept was made by professor ramchandran professor ls srinath felt Sir, uh, before that do you remember one work done by us jointly uh in the feed yes. mixing unit yeah, in I, I remember i remember that i remember <laughs> that yeah it's a point which be <laughs> so, very very much uh, highlighted right. i am happy because that you, you are, mentioned you that. are doing many projects right. in one project you know we joined together yeah, right and uh, that's a nandanam feed mixing unit i understand i understand uh, where we had to sure sure do, sure uh, we, we had that work and engineering design center did uh, go to very many places for consultancy on the design particularly one example i will try to give uh, the people for taking the uh, feather off from the chicken uh, they were finding it difficult they were asking me whether it would be possible for a machine to be designed so it will be very quick and all that we tried but by the time engineering design center itself did not exist yeah. so it uh, it couldn't continue there were lots of uh, projects we were interested but uh, the only thing is manpower was not there and there wasn't automation there wasn't any automation by the time there wasn't any software development which we could be using it for design such uh, developments were not there so but that itself is a different field development of a software by design is a different field so these were all put forth to professor srinath and he felt that it is wise that we dissolve that and he made me to perfect permanently join in mmh laboratory yes. that's how one I more person you have forgotten engineering design center uh, professor kalandar sahib kalandar sahib also, also yeah also he also there. joined in the manufacturing side i went to the mmh after the, uh, and no, professor chenna basavan went to yeah. precision engineering after the center was closed yeah people we were, were distributed, distributed right uh, uh, then there was sharma sharma also was there in the uh, engineering design center he also went to the precision engineering dk sharma and uh, kothial kothial also, also was there right. shirohi also was there all we were all there in the engineering design center they were transferred to precision engineering while i was transferred to mmh kalandar sahib went to manufacturing chenna basavan also went to precision engineering right sir malhotra malhotra was because in the frp frp ah. center he was already there in the frp right, he didn't come to the engineering design right, center right, right so how was your you uh, know uh, your work in mem mh because i left mem mh you uh, know in 77 okay i went to iit bombay yeah. when i, I came know. back i came back to manufacturing engineering, engineering section yeah. and not did not come right. to you MEMH. went to bombay i went to us yeah. that's how it is it's that right. so uh, anything no, that you can recollect in no, your no uh, mem mh was a very uh, lovable place to work with because all our colleagues were excellent it was a beautiful place and big uh, workshop and all that professor oh, ma parameshwaran ma parame that is memh machine elements mechanical handling that's how it was named as memh and uh, machine elements we were rotating ourselves who is the head and all that for a longer time there was a professor called raidu happened to be my classmate he was there uh, as a head for a long time and then professor parameswaran permanently head for mechanical handling there are only three people professor parameswaran professor ram ramakrishna ram lingam uh, sir ram and then madhusudan rao who unfortunately passed away excepting parameswaran the other two don't exist now so when these things were going on there was a lot of exchange between mechanical handling and machine elements there wasn't any big demarcation 
even though separate laboratories exist, they were in the same building. So we never had any difficulty in exchanging mechanics or manpower and all that, even materials. So went on for a long time. I think before that was dissolved, I left the institution. So later on, I do not Did know what not happened. Did not get dissolved, sir. Actually, after Parameshwaran, we couldn't continue the program. Madhusudra also okay. went to not. Malaysia. So we were finding it difficult to offer that Understand. program. We had PG program yeah, yeah. in mission elements yeah. alone yeah. and uh, mechanical handling. Right. And later so on, Bala Sorman joined, I think. Mechanical handling had to be closed. Yeah, yeah, natural. So that is how yeah, it happened. Yeah, yeah. Still, it's a very hard field, sir. You know, if some True. somewhere, because no other institution in India Has it. does no, it. That was a except crane Karakul. and all that were very well developed. Well developed. Mm. Oh. And I, I think the credit again goes to Professor Kraus. He was the architect for all the laboratories. The departments were all laboratory oriented. That concept was brought by Prouse because in Germany it was the case. Sir, did you come for our Golden Jubilee celebration where you... Mm, I don't think I came. Okay, 2009 I if I am correct. Mm, no, I don't so, think so. Uh, I, I didn't the come. The invitation was... 2009 I, I already had uh, moved to Perindurai. Perindurai. So I couldn't make the trip. Okay. Because as an employee there, mm. uh, I didn't take leave and come. Mm -hmm. Because uh, no, that's the time I was also HOD. I see. So then uh, many of the professors, retired professors came, including German professors. No, I could have come had so, I been free, I but uh, I was employed Probably somewhere. Probably some other time we can uh, now uh, talk about sure. it. I'll show so you the photographs With pleasure, also. with pleasure. So then anything you can recollect which is something at the top of your mind about your stay in IIT. Okay. Uh, as far as the department is concerned, irrespective which department we belong, excellent friendship. And uh, people were very much uh, uh, helping each other, even though some minor personal animosities might be there out of competition or something like that. Professional competition is there everywhere. So accepting that, I at least feel that there was a beautiful coordination. To make that coordination better, we used to have the Saturday movies where people again used to mix with families and things like that. It was a wonderful life. And for making that sort of movies, very good open air theatre was there. There is also a credit regarding the open air theatre, probably many people may not know. If time permits, I might say Please. that also. Yeah. There was a very big pit there. The present place where there is an open air theatre, a very big pit. Super engineer Ramaswamy was the engineer there at that time. Professor Singhuto was trying to do things for the uh, institution. They both inspected the site, very big pit. Singhuto was uh, asking Ramaswamy what to do. Then he said, with the idea of building some building there, he said, no problem, sir, without any difficulty, we could dump earth and then make it better. Then he again smiled. It is usual style of smiling. When he smiles, there is something which uh, others have to watch. That, that is the meaning. He, he smiled. He is basically a civil engineer. He is a Professor mechanical engineer. Professor Excellent Sengupta? handwriting. Sengupta? Beautiful. Excellent teacher. Somebody said a civil engineer. No, no. He's, he took classes for applied mechanics. Oh. I attended also. I see. He was fond of taking classes, but there wasn't any time as a director. And there were some funds. I mean, lot of... In fact, for the whole day, I can tell, but there is not much of time. Beautiful things one can enjoy, but that there is no time. Anyway, that pit, uh, he smiled. Then, Mr. Ramsamy, I didn't ask you whether we are going to make the building or any other thing. I was just trying to think what can we do with that. Then Ramaswamy was keeping quiet. Then he said, why don't we make this as an open air theatre? That's how the open air theatre came. Without much of expenditure, the, the existing pit itself was made in such a way, it's a beautiful gallery we enjoy today, then open air theatre. And in open air theatre, there was a difficulty by the time, of course, uh, Sengupto left. when. Uh, uh, our uh, Sir Ramachandran. Ramachandran came. Uh, whenever we used to have function, we had to wait for the sun to go down because uh, sun's rays were harming, we were not in a position to listen to it. So, this sort of situation in a big institution is not good. They thought that only made a, a very big auditorium to, to be developed now, which is now called a student activity, uh, activity center. Now, the original concept again was to make the stage common and this is the open air theatre, the other end will be closed theatre. So the stage can be rotated without any difficulty of additional expenditure. Mm -hmm. But subsequent directors changed that. So, so 
the student activity center became sir. an independent one. Independent. This became an independent one. That's how it was. Yes, sir. Thank you very much, oh, sir. Pleasure, sir. On behalf Sorry of if I have unnecessarily no, taken no, no, unnecessary no, no. information. Uh, yeah. So maybe I didn't know where to cut and where to enter. So, Professor. Sure. One professor, how was their applied mechanics? Yes, what is the year? In the uh, 60s. Yes, Professor, how I told you, he was there. Which, which, uh, he took a vibrations, vibration class. Right. Vibration class. Okay. Because his daughter used to work as a. Yeah, yeah. His daughter in chemistry department. Chemistry. Yeah, I know that. I uh, right. Yeah, he, her name used to start with E. I forget the full name anyway. Okay. Yeah. And uh, he remained there only for a few years. Uh -huh. He was very old. He couldn't. Uh, in his place only, Wagner came. Uh -huh. originally, right. originally, he was the person recruited for vibrations. Professor Wagner replaced him. Okay. So, thank you.